Hey guys, welcome to an episode of Josh's Comics. Uh, quick update, I know uh, part 2 and part 3 of 360 Comics haul video is supposed to come out this week. Um, part 2 is still going to come out. I'm still waiting on the third box to arrive, which will hopefully be later this week. But that's fine because I actually stopped in and made a quick, I don't want to say appearance because I'm really, not, I'm really nobody. But I stopped in at uh, Philadelphia Comic Con this weekend on Sunday. And not only did I go, but Joe 360 Comics went, Alex of the Collecting Dude, and Mike Pope of Chili Town also went. I met up with the boys. Uh, my first time going out with them and actually collecting and going out on the hunt. And it was it was pretty cool. Um, it was my second time to the Philadelphia Comic Con. I was there recently last September. Um, and I picked up some good things there. Check that out in one of my previous haul videos uh, when I first started the channel. And yeah, I picked up a great stack of books. Um, some nice keys. And I also have, at the end of this video, I also have a big... Batman Grail pickup once again. You'll see it in the thumbnail. So, you may already know. And if you follow me on Instagram, I posted it up over the weekend. And I'm going to talk about the story behind that. And how I'm extremely happy to add that to the PC. But yeah, let's get right into this video. And talk about the Philadelphia Comic Con. Um, the first one that I went to this year in January, obviously. And I may go to some of the others later in the year. We'll see. Um, the next big con I know I'm definitely going to be going to is King Kong 3 in March. But anyway, we'll talk more about that too later in the video. Let's get into the haul. Um, these next couple of issues I picked up are all Star Wars books that I picked up from one uh, seller there. And he had probably six to eight long boxes of Star Wars guys. And I mean like... Almost everything and anything. Tons of variants. And I also picked up a few other variants of different comics of them. But, and everything was 25% off. I think I ended up buying, like, six to eight books off of him. And I got them for, like, probably, like, 30 or 40 bucks. I can't remember. But everything was 25% off the sticker price. And um, this one is Star Wars Obi-Wan and Anakin number one. Extremely happy to add that to the uh, PC. It's an issue number one. I don't think it's worth that much, but it's a cool pickup. This one I'm very happy to add to the Mandalorian. It's the Mandalorian variant edition of number one. I thought it was a sweet looking cover. Uh, I also picked up the Mandalorian issue number seven. Uh, throwing off that Mandalorian run. Um, I do need to pick up issue number six as well, which I'll probably do that at a local comic book store in the next week or two. Uh, this one is some a great, great Darth Vader cover. Darth Vader Annual number two. And I believe that is from the... Uh, well, I was going to say the Charles Soul, but it says Wending, Wendig, if I'm pronouncing that last name right. It is an annual, so... Uh, this one is another sweet cover. It's uh, Star Wars Darth Vader number 6 from the Greg uh, Puck, Puck, um series. Pick that up. I think that's sweet looking. Uh, here's Star Wars Vader Down, which is probably one of the best Star Wars comics and storylines out there. And it's a variant edition from Yesterday Comics. Great Vader cover. Uh, and these last two books I also picked up from him. This is a uh, Daredevil issue number one from Chip Zdarsky. Great Daredevil cover. And I also picked up a very sweet looking Catwoman issue 12 variant. I, I just that drew my attention and uh, I think that's just hot looking and yeah. Probably not really worth anything. Uh, I'd be surprised if it is, but uh, I think the suit and her costume is just mwah. You know what I mean? Uh, moving on to a couple other different sellers. I picked up Batman 6-6. Six, six. 
issue number one. It is uh, continuing new stories in the Batman 66 um, run. And I actually have the full Omniverse behind me on the shelf that I read, and I actually loved it. Probably won't pick up the whole series in comic format, and actually I'm surprised to find out none of these are in the Key Collector. Except for when Batman meets Archie, um, that was separate from that 66 run. It's just Batman 66 meets like Archie or Wonder Woman and stuff. Um, I picked this up for $5 though. Uh, great pickup. It's in great condition. I don't know if something would get slabbed though. Potentially, maybe we'll see. Um, this one is another cool one. This is Batman and Robin Adventures, issue number one. Anything happen to do with the Batman Adventures, of course, or Batman and Robin Adventures, or the, or the Adventures Continue, I am picking up. I love that show. It is what I grew up with. Speaking of Batman, these last couple books are all Batman. You know me. I am usually got Batman in every haul video. And actually, this book actually helps complete a run. Um, I had the uh, Death in the Family Part 1, 2, and 4. And now I have issue number 3, completing that run. Um, this one is definitely a little bit of a mid-grade. It's got a few spine ticks. Uh, but I'm not planning on sending any of the Death in the Family runs in to be graded anyway. So that's fine with me. Um, this one is actually been on a checklist of the Rogue Gallery. Now, I know some people only go for, like, the main rogues, like Scarface, uh, no, it's not Scarface, my bad, Two-Face, um, Riddler, Penguin. Me, I'm trying to collect the ones that I loved and know, and everybody's different, and this book will be going in graded, but this is Detective Comics 583, first appearance of Ventriloquist and Scarface. That's going to be going in graded, and that is part of my rogue gallery project. I did say I wanted to pick up four big uh, additions to the Rogue Gallery. This is not what I would consider a big addition because this is a book that you can pretty much find for a good, you know, raw, cheap price um, in high condition. That's in high condition. But um, so I wouldn't consider that part of that for books that I had project. The Batman 155 for sure is in there because that's a high grade book. Um, the last book I picked up from the Philadelphia Comic Con, this is the biggest book of the day. This is the Dark Knight Triumphant, uh, but it's part two, um, or book two of the Dark Knight Returns. Amazing cover, extremely happy to add this to the PC. And now, and it's high grade, and all I need now is just issue number one. And I'm gonna be on the hunt for that, obviously. Now, Moving on uh, to this last book, and I just want to say real quick, again, uh, thanks to the guys, uh, Joe, Mike, and Alex, for letting me hang out with you guys today um, at the Philadelphia Comic Con. It was a lot of fun, especially for Mike, because that Detective Comics 583, I wouldn't have bought home if it wasn't for him. He was looking out for me. He was going through some bins, and if he saw something that, that we were looking for, he was letting us know. So shout out again to Mike. He's a great guy. Follow him, Pope of Chili Town. And yeah, so moving on. This last uh, book I have here I picked up on eBay recently and it is the second biggest grail and second biggest addition to the Batman World Gallery PC and probably the second biggest book I have picked up so far in 2023 and this is a Detective Comics 411 which is the first appearance of Tyler Agu and it is in a 4.0 CGC slab. That thing is beautiful. It's a back. Um, be honest with you guys, man. I, I just, I love this book. Obviously, yeah, I know you can you, you can look and you can see in the corners and you you know it's a four point So obviously there's some stuff wrong with the book, but you know what, guys? Anything I can find of these beautiful books, um, I'm going to take a two point five to a five zero for any of my Rogue Gallery editions, De depending. Like now, when you're looking at Detective Comics 583 or even Hush, uh, which is Batman 609, those, like that, I'm hoping that comes back at least an 8.5 or higher. If When I go to purchase a 609 Hush, um, I may try to look for one that's already at least a 9.6, if not higher, because it's a modern-day book. 
But for an older book like this, I'm I'm happy with that grade. And I actually got this for a steal. It was about two hundred bucks. Um, I offered two hundred bucks, and the seller took it. It was almost I think like two thirty or two forty they were asking for it. And um, yeah, I mean a great book to add to the Rogue Gallery PC. And that just leaves me two more big books to acquire. And then I would have that project, not complete, but my, what I want to do for the year. I think I may end up adding more, though, because it's just the beginning of the new year, guys. It's halfway through January. We still have 11 and a half or 11 months left to go. 2023 so far has been a good year. You can kind of see a, a huge stack of books up here that I still have to make videos for. More books picked up from Joe from 360 Comics. Thank you, brother. Uh, you are filling up my boxes for sure here and making my collection great. And I love picking up from you. And yeah, so there you guys have it. The Philadelphia Comic Con January pickups. Probably go to maybe another one towards the end of the year. I think they have one in March, which I probably want to attend due to the fact that I'm going to go to King Kong and I think they had them up to January, or no, they had them up to J June or July, and then they stopped. And I'm sure they're going to have a few more at the end of the year. I'll probably hit up a few towards the end of the year. But, um, yeah, guys, great haul. Uh, I'm happy. And you know what? It, it's just a great time. And as like I said, do you see keys right now, too? It's a time to jump on them, and, but you know me, I'm a Batman guy. I'm picking up tons of Batman whenever I can, wherever I can. And uh, of course, I got more Batman coming up in some future haul videos. I'm excited to share with you guys. So, uh, as always, uh, Lake, give me a subscribe. Let's grow the channel. I want to try to get to 500 subscribers by the end of 2023. I may have overshot that. I mean, I don't know if we can do it. We'll see. Uh, I hope we can. Follow me on Instagram, too. Uh, I'm almost at 700 subscribers. I'm trying to get at least 1,000 by the end of this year and just grow content with you guys and make connections and buy books. Um, I'm even going to start looking into uh, maybe possibly having duplicates of what I have, looking to sell some books, get out there and make some money. So, yeah, that would be cool. And uh, leave a comment. Let me, guy let me know what you guys think about my haul. If you want to fully Comic-Con, let me know, did you pick up anything, what did you pick up, and of course, as always, stay safe, take care of each other, and we will see you guys in the next Josh's Comics.